Learning Cup is one of the world's largest tech competitions where students from universities around the world compete to uh, show off their creativity essentially and it's an award that's purely focused on uh, student creativity and getting uh, students from university to uh, create businesses and create projects that show their innovation and also help the world. Lifeline's essentially a panic button and mobile app that allows first aiders to provide early care and medical emergencies. Um, so the way it works is if someone's in distress, they press a panic button. This is location sensitive, so it sends out a real-time notification to any first aiders within 500 metres and also to the local emergency services. Um, if I'm a first aider, about 400 metres away, I would get a notification on my phone and I can look at the directions and go to the scene and provide the care that you need until the ambulance arrives. It actually came out of a class project. We were from the University of Strathclyde. Being from Glasgow, capital heart attacks and all that sort of stuff, you know, full on healthy people. So it was a, a thing that probably everybody and we, we all had family members that experienced it and we think, well, what, what can we do? And really enjoyed today and in general the business is going really well. So we're hoping to have a, a prototype extremely soon and launching hopefully, you know, um, start next year. We're a student team from Everything University in Dundee. Uh, we're currently four people and we've been working on our project, Project Sanitarium, since September. Project Sanitarium is a game where the player plays as a doctor who's determined to fight tuberculosis. It's not just a game, it's also a tool. Professor Stephen Gillespie has asked us to incorporate the mathematical model that he has developed uh, in the past years, and the model runs in the game and helps us provide uh, data uh, which is re quite realistic. The Imagine Cup has been going for about 13 years, 10 years in the UK now, um, and why Microsoft does it, I mean, this is a company that's all about uh, inspiring people to achieve more and do more, and the Imagine Cup is a great embodiment of that. It's really very much about uh, getting inspired by and fostering the creativity of young people who may go off into uh, science and technology, computer science careers, or entrepreneurship, etc. Yeah. It's a loyalty app for venues, so you have bars, pubs, and clubs, and what it allows allows you to do is it allows them to track the time the customers spend in their location, in their venue. So we use unique uh, technology, we use iBeacons, and what it does is it picks up via Bluetooth how long people spend in the location. So what we're doing is we're rewarding the customers for their loyalty. And the venues can set their unique rewards. So if you earn enough points, you can get uh, free entry, you can get a free soft drink, a free packet of chips or something. So what, the only thing we stipulate is every 10 minutes you spend in the, in the venue, you get 10 points and then from that they can build on their reward system. But the iBeacon emits a Bluetooth, uh, and the moment you walk into a, an ambient associated venue, your phone can be in your pocket, if Bluetooth is on, that's fine. If it's not on, you get sent a prompt. So turn your Bluetooth on, leave it in your pocket, and then from then on, you're absolutely fine, and it just ticks away, clocks up those points whilst it's in your pocket. You don't have to touch it the whole night. Our partners and founders are in Brisbane, Australia, and they're expanding into Sydney, Melbourne, and Perth in the next few months. They encourage us to come to a hackathon, brainstorm ideas. They'd already done a bit of development, we got on board with it, and then now we're starting to expand into the UK market. So the whole time we've been researching London, we've been researching our local university towns, and finding out what the market's like there. It seems started with a wearable company that developed the brace that exchanged the contact deals via handshake, a simple handshake, but it got um, quite um, a social analytics company in the end. So what we do is basically we mine data, like give delegates, conference delegates, this bracelet for free, uh, because we sell to the organizer rather than the uh, individual. So he will um, provide his delegates with this bracelet and they receive a fantastic networking experience because they shake people's hands, they get all their contact details on our social network platform so they can review the connection, they can discover who's around them as well as receive suggestions of who might be of interest in, right? And at the same time, the organizer can look at our analytics. So he has like a handshake meter so you can see at what time of the day the most handshake happens. So it's basically a social um, activity tracker as well as look at heat maps. So where's the most traffic in this event? You know, where are the most people commuting, which stand is, or which stall is the most, um, you know, um, popular. Yeah. As well as um, simple kind of uh, delegate activity kind of uh, mapping, so we can see if delegates uh, like to spend a lot of time in, in this area, like this area, drink coffee or whatever they want to do. We can actually sign them in as soon as they get uh, into the building. Yeah. So there's no kind of like interaction with any kind of stationary devices, so you just walk in. As soon as wearables catch on, so we'll we create an app which runs on cross-platform um, wearables. Now I think the judges have Great. I mean, they, they ask really cool questions, I thought. Uh, very great questions. And um, no, it has been a great experience so far. Our game Flatline is, is an FPS. But when we say FPS, we mean first person speedrunner. It's a relatively new genre. The object of the game is to get from A to B as fast as possible. But what we've done with Flatliners is focus on putting glitches and exploits that are often overlooked or kind of hidden in other games. We're putting them in the player's hands. 
So they essentially have to find bugs and glitches to get as far as, or as fast as possible in the game as they can. They essentially gamify the QA process. When you complete our level, you can upload your ghost and race other people anywhere, anytime, offline. So this ability basically means that we can pull the data from their ghost and see if it's too hard, if it's too easy, if people are quitting the game halfway through. But the beautiful thing is that people can just download maps one or two at a time. You know, they don't have to download a, a map pack, for example. Every time we put this game, we put it in someone's hands. They've just found it fun. And as game developers, that's all we want. The Imagine Cup has just been absolutely overwhelming. And um, we've had tweets from people we've never even heard or seen before. We've had some really good names come up to us and say like, oh, I really like your game. Like, have you got any plans for this? A lot of people want it to be on mobile, but you know, that's just something we'll have to see for the future. There'll be a prize in each category. And so I think from, from here, the, the winners of, the, of today's event, uh, along with the same winners in, in the other countries, they'll go and pitch uh, in front of a room full of many, many people and, and, and another panel of illustrious judges. And, uh, and they'll be fighting for the chance to win that $50,000 prize. The basic game um, is about you or the hacker who is infiltrating the vast space of the cyber world and you need to save your own dystopian world because all of your resources your even your basic ones have been completely cut off you have to use connect so that is our one one main aspect because we figured that um, Connect is the best way of actually interacting with cyberspace with different motions. You take objects, throw it at enemies, throw it at different things. Just you are literally all over the place. We have a con companion app that is made for. At the moment, it's made for the Windows Phone. So uh, the companion app will include uh, things like audio logs, um, information, strategic information, and the most interesting part is what we have is the uh, level editor. So far, Connect games have always been either mostly about dancing or sports games, and we were like, well, we kind of like them, but then again, we might want to create something that's completely different. So that's what we did. We created a strategic and turn-based puzzle game, basically. That's what it initially is. To put it simply, MovieR lets you um, combine multiple camera feeds on your phone screen while they're still recording. Now, the people you connect to can be anywhere in the world. I could be in Australia, you could be in New Zealand, but as soon as I connect to you through Wi-Fi, I have your feed on my phone screen and I can add it to my recording. And our app will save it in a one minute video and then you can share it on social media. You could be at a concert, you could be at a sports event, a race, you know, a party. Just connect to other users, record from your different standpoints and then you can stitch them together. Simple, it's like a production team all in an app. I want people to be using MovieR to record everything. Because it's so easy, you connect to your friends and then you record. The boys who won the Imagine Cup two years ago, and they were a UK team uh, from Exeter University, and they uh, then uh, were selected to uh, join the Microsoft Ventures Accelerator as part of their overall prize. So they came in and went through the program, and they're refining and building their business now as we as we speak. The, the companies that come through uh, the Imagine Cup program essentially become sort of golden children for Microsoft, and they, and they really get the, the white glove treatment. So we help them in any way that we can.